Hey guys, Ollie here. Welcome back to the GameStorm YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at GSW PC2. Now this is another PC from our workstation lineup. GSW PC2 is your sort of mid to high level workstation PC that is going to be good for your mediocre video editing or professional video grade pro uh, production as well as Photoshop and the such like applications. For the processor we are going for an Intel Core i5 4690K. Now like the 4590K it is an i5 quad core. But this this is the 4690K which means it is a K edition so that we can overclock. This overclocked will drastically improve your rendering performance and anything else you really want to do with it. Also a 4690K overclocked you really can't beat it. So to keep this one tamed we have the Noctua NHD15. Now this is a beast of a cooler, it is huge. And also because it's made by Noctua, you have the quality guarantee with Noctua to make sure that it's gonna keep going for longer and it is gonna keep running quieter. And because it's Noctua, it has those fantastic fans on it that are going to be super quiet and make it a, the perfect cooler. Also because it is so large and beefy, we can get some really nice overclocks on the 4690K. Now for the motherboard, we've gone for an Asus Z97P. Now you won't see this one around much as it is quite a rare motherboard in terms of people buying them now however Kai actually has one of these and it is really nice it's really good for overclocking has a nice power power delivery system has a really nice variety of rear IO as well as that full 16x slot which is going to enable us to put a full 16x PCIe graphics card in there as well for the RAM we went ahead and put 8 gigabytes of Kingston HyperX Fury in at 1866 megahertz now if you guys want to go ahead and chuck 16 gigs in this because it is a video editing machine you go ahead and feel free to do that we put 8 in because really for my sort of video editing workload 8 gigs is really enough but if you guys want 16 then by all means go ahead and chuck 16 in. Now you've seen this one in the other build guides this is the Kingston HyperX 3K 240 gig SSD. This is going to essentially be the thing that is going to keep your PC running quicker for longer and is going to make your encoding and stuff when you're writing to a drive much quicker as well as your boot and everything like that just seem much nicer and your PC much nicer overall to use. I really like SSDs and I am so glad I put one in my own rig so this PC PC definitely deserves to have one. No surprise here, but mass storage will be handled by a Seagate Barracuda 1TB 3.5 inch 7200rpm drive. Now these drives are reliable as we've said in all of the other build guides, they're rock solid stable, never slow down, they're just really brilliant and I really like Seagate, so best of the best. Now for the real meat of this video or PC build, we have the MSI GeForce GTX 970. Now this is a 4 gig card that sports MSI's Twin Frozer 5 cooler. Twin Frozer 5 is a brilliant cooler, zero decibel fan mode, everything like that. Anyway, onto the actual card, the 970 is going to provide perfect performance for video editing and rendering, but although this is a gaming card, this will provide perfect amount of CUDA acceleration for your applications like Premiere Pro and Vegas Pro, and also Photoshop that can utilize CUDA acceleration to help rendering times. Overall, this card is brilliant for this build, that's why you'll find it in here. Now the case is one that has recently been released, it is the Silverstone KL05B with a window. Now this is an ATX mid-tower case. Recently released Released onto the market by Silverstone, it is pretty much what everyone is describing as the best bang for the buck case. At only 56 quid, it comes with a front fan and everything that you need, plus loads of rear I.O. space and front I.O. that you need to get a decent workstation PC up and running. It is nice and simple, being a very simple case that is going to be perfect for this build. Now this part featured in the other build, you can go ahead and step this up to a more workstation grade power supply if you really feel like it, but we decided to put the Corsair CX 500 watt 80 plus bronze raid power supply in because it is pretty much the best you can get for the buck. It is a Corsair Builder Series power supply which means that you will get the best reliability out of a power supply of this price. It's semi-modular as well so that you only need to plug in the cables that you want with only the 24 pin and the 8 pin CPU supplemental power hardwired directly to the power supply. It's a Builder Series, it's reliable. Now this part you can go ahead and chuck out if you don't want it but we put it in because this is a workstation build is the Samsung SH224DB slash BE slash BE DVD slash CD writer. Now this is pretty much just a bog standard disk drive that will do what a disk drive does. That's really all you can say about it. So jumping back to the overall overview of this PC then, this is going to be perfect for your mid to high level video rendering with Premiere Pro and Vegas Pro as well as Photoshop work. It's going to be brilliant for your next level visuals such as CUDA acceleration and any other things that you really want to do with this machine. It's going to be quick, going to run perfectly and it's going to be just brilliant. Anyway guys, if you like this video, 
code don't forget to check the links down in the description go ahead and go to our Facebook page give it a like and also jump over to our Facebook support group you can go ahead and join that and ask any questions or queries you may have anyway we hope you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always guys we'll catch you in the next one